Scooby-Doo-Bad-Doo-Bad-Doo. Whoa! I am Richard Jean the Fishing Machine. And today, folks, we're going to be doing a little hair jig fishing, okay, from the bank. One of my favorite baits to throw, and I found some at Bass Pro Shop. I'm going to show you how I'm going to rig it, how I'm going to fish it. Ugh. Let's do it. There we go. First fish of the morning. And I believe it's a small mouth. Folks. Feels like one. Feels like a pretty good small mouth. I'm going to take it real easy with this fish right here. Love to catch them. Yeah, it's a big small mouth. And I'm going to show you what I'm fishing with right here today. If we can ever get this small mouth done. Now that's the problem. A small mouth is a powerful, powerful fish. Beautiful fish right here. Love catching them too. Really, there's nothing like them when it comes to bass. I like to catch large mouth spots, but a small mouth rose supreme to me. Come on in here, fish. Ah. I'm going to make sure she's tired. No need in horsing the fish. That ain't fun. And I'll show you what we caught this fish on. That's a beautiful, hey, stop it, stop it, stop it. That's a beautiful fish right here. Tennessee River small jaw right there. Let's take a look at her bait today. Kind of a unique little bait. One that's been proven in the test of time. That's a beautiful fish, folks, and I love catching small mouth. And uh, what I caught that fish on, let's get her unhooked here, was a small Kalen's hair jig. And I'll show that to you right here in a second. Let's get this fish back in the water. Beautiful small jowl. That's some pretty colors on you, I tell you that. She's ready. And there she goes. That's the best part of it. Best part of it. Now, folks, this is a Kalen's Marabou Jig. It's a 1 8 ounce. Uh, real, real light. Now, I have different weights, but the way the water's pulling right now, a 1 8 is about perfect. Okay. And the water depth that I'm going to be fishing, or, or where I caught that fish, is probably about 6 feet of water. And it falls right here. And right on that fall, right on that drop, is where that fish hit it. On the down current side. And um, this 1 8 ounce is perfect for the speed this current is moving. And that's real important. Not just on hair jigs, but any jigs. But now hair jigs happen to be one of my favorite little baits to fish for smallmouth with. But this isn't particularly my favorite color. I like green pumpkin and solid center black or a black and blue combination. And I couldn't find any. I bought these at Bass Pro Shop in, Le at, um, Le in Leeds, Alabama. Excuse me. But my attractant is a power bait today. And that's all. That's all I'm doing. Now, a lot of times I'll put a trailer on these baits. Um... And sometimes I won't. In this case, I didn't have to. Um, hair jigs work wonderful on river systems. Um, more so than in lake situations because the current makes that marabou look alive. And that's the best way I can say that. But what we're going to do, we're going to see if we can catch a few more fish on it. Um, and if we can't, we'll fish with some more other baits. But... Love catching them on marabou jigs. Let's catch another one. Whoa! And there ain't no telling what we'll catch because 
about anything and hit a marabou jig. There we go. That was a light bite too. I reckon what, whatever it is ain't very big. We got him though. That's what I've been missing out there. I figured that. A little drum. He thought that was a little crawfish going down through there. He said, mm hmm. A little crawfish. Let's eat him. When he was facing the current like this, probably in behind one of them boulders. And that jig it went, and he went. <laughs> Let's let him go. Yeah, I'm missing a lot of fish right here. And, you know, or quite a few. Most of them were drum and stuff like that. I wish the water was a little bit clearer. I could show y'all how this jig, it looks skinny there, but it oh, the skirt opens up and it pulsates. And that's what makes this jig so effective. And um, here's a rock. Maybe y'all can see it. When I hit that rock, that jig just opened up. And that's what's going on down there. It looks very realistic, especially out in the current. And what that fish thought that was, was no doubt a crawfish. And really, that's not an inappropriate color right there, brown and orange, because two days ago we had a full moon. So that means the crawfish are in molt. So really, it might be the best color I could be throwing right now. Now I'm just using a Gander Mountain Tournament Series rod. It's six and a half feet long, medium action. They don't make them no more, unfortunately. I own two of them. I wish I had about eight of them. And this is just a Daiwa Reverus LT 2500. 2500 size reel. It's a great little reel. Real, real smooth. About all I can say for it. it has a good drag system, as y'all just seen. And you need a good drag when it comes to smallmouth. My goodness, ain't nothing like them. On it, I have 10 pound test Power Pro braid with a double uni knot. One of my favorite ways to fish. I tell you what, folks, no doubt. I set about a seven foot leader, and my leader is eight pound test trialing, and I have this jig tab with a loop knot. Real simple. There we go. Right by the bank, too. Well, I caught him right in the head. I want y'all to look what a big old bluegill. Now, that'd be a good bait for a flathead right there. A big flathead. But that fish thumped that, missed it, and I got him in the... <laughs> oh, me! I don't know if I'm going to show that or not. That's a big gill, though. That's a doggone big gill. Huh? Man, you don't never know. Fishing is something else. There we go. See what we got right here. Feels like another smallmouth. No, it's in the bass species. I believe we got a little spotted fish right here, spotted bass. Micro Kalahalamala. Yeah, little spotted bass. So there's two species. Of bass that I hit a hair jig. Okay. And the other species is probably coming up. Largemouth hit them too. Let's let this fish go. He ain't that big. But he is a fish. Go back spot. Alright. Now on these hair jigs, I mentioned fish attracting they will hold that attractant real well. Uh, Y'all see the paint's done coming off of this jig head right here. That don't make any difference. None at all. What was I saying? Hair jigs will hold that scent. 
much better whether you're fishing for crappie or bass with marabou jigs or even hand tied jigs much better than plastics will since made the order for them in my opinion it don't come off as easy although I use sin on both and, and when the jig opens up it looks like a pretty good size little crawfish but right there it looks like nothing but in your mind you have to imagine what that jig looks like in other words when it hits the bottom the skirt will flare out you need to to envision that in your mind when you pull it up the skirt will get skinny and then when it hits the bottom again it will balloon out again and that's something that you need to uh, keep in your mind when you're fishing this bait you'll and and you'll develop confidence in it after you catch a few fish you got it all right when it makes bottom kind contact which it is now i just pick it up just little bitty short movements because that current is already moving that bait about the same speed as the current is moving and i just want to follow that bait little bitty movements now if i pick it up like this and then drop it i could go plumb past the fish easy i want to present them fish have a chance on presenting them fish this bait to catch them so i'm going to make little bitty movements and that's basically all i do in current but um, if they're not pulling a whole lot of it, well, I would go down to about a 1 16th. If they're pulling it stronger than this, a lot of times you would need a 3 16th or a quarter. Just whatever it takes to get that speed of that bait going down the current about the same, maybe a little slower, but about the same as the current's moving. And that's real important very very important a lot of times that can mean catching fish and not catching any any at all i mean very important little detail all right let's see if we can catch a couple more there we go yep what have we got that fish I think we got a drum. I'm not for sure, folks. It ain't no small mouth. I do know that. But we got him anyway. He thumped it. It's amazing how hard these drum are hitting today. They've all been about this size. Now I'm kind of glad. He's got him a mouth full. Marabou, I know that. Now this bank fishing videos, I do have a lot of a lot of doggone fun. I'm not kidding about that. But it does, and I know limit you. But now if you come on out here and you try different things, different approaches, you'd be surprised at the fish you could catch. And a marabou jig is an old, old smallmouth bait. Now, this particular jig right here, made by Kalins, is a little short. I like mine to be a little bit long so I can trim them with scissors to the shape that I want them to be. But uh, every fisherman is different. You used to could get those like that. But um, these higher jigs, now they're hard to find. Or they are in my neck. The woods, there's another fish. See what we got. But it's a, a real realistic. What do we got right here? Looky there with a little drum. But I'm catching the fire out of them just right here. <sighs> Evidently, there's not another small jaw out there. Go on back, boy. But it's very realistic as far as... Looking like a small crawfish is what I'm trying to say. The way it balloons, when it hits the bottom, it balloons. And that's uh, all jigs are that way. Big bass jigs are that way. I 
Well, we caught a few like that, folks. Um, I'm going to get out of here. It's fixing to come a thunder boomer and a half. But I want to thank y'all very much for spending a few minutes with me, enjoying a sport. That is second to none. Thank you for everything you've done. Everything. I honestly. Whoa. And remember, do this if you can, because it's good for you.